We have had such a fantastic week because our friend Fred Armisen has been back on drums, our band leader. Oh, thank you. And it's so great to catch up with you, find out what you've been up to. And you're one of the busiest people I know. And one of the things you were saying, there's a cost to being as busy as you are. And one of the costs is you do not have time to read. Nothing. Can't read any books. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really sad, but then you said it's not actually as sad as I might think it to be because you can look at any cover of any book and get the full experience of reading it because all you need to do is look at the cover to be able to glean the entire story. That's all I need. All the plot, all the characters. That's it. You're not just making that up. No. All right. Let's put it to the test one more time. Sure, sure. It's time for our new segment, Fred Judges a Book by Its Cover. <laughs> So this is it. I'm just going to show this to you, and you're immediately going to know everything about this book. Oh, yes. Right okay, on. great. This is The Summer Sale by Wendy Francis. Fred, what is this book about? Oh, The Summer Sale. <laughs> so this is a novel, and it's uh, by Wendy Francis. Uh-huh. You know, she did The Summer of Good Intentions, which okay, is... Yeah. So just to... Those are all things that I think all of us would have been able to tell from this cover. Well, just so you know about The Summer of Good Intentions, that's like that, this that wonderful novel about this summer where everyone had really good intentions. <laughs> anyway, so um, the summer sale. Okay. This is great. So this is um, uh, uh, this igloo that was built. <laughs> it's a story of someone who wanted to create, make this igloo. And so uh, the family comes back. They're like, oh, this is great. Thanks for, so much for making this igloo. Can you make Wait, it who look... Who are they saying that to? Uh, the, the architect of the igloo. Okay. So they're like, <laughs> they're like, this is great. We want to stand out a little bit. Is there any way, and this is chapter two, is there any way you can make it, th this is the plot of it. They're like, is there any way you can make it look more like a vacation area? Because we, you know, we don't get to travel much. Uh, you know, it's, every place is so far away. It's a, very, it's a serious story. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, um, so um, they, they, they go out, um, they, they, they go out, you know, in the water for a while. They come back and this architect built this wonderful, it looks like the, a part of a ship. So wait, it, how long were they in the water? They were out there for like a good week or so. And, but look at the, so the rest of the book is a description of how, this is all made from ice. Those are ice chairs, that's an ice deck, all, and the color, and, and so, uh, and the language is very real. The language uh, in, this, in this novel, really good language, very real, very today. Okay. Um, and it's great, the summer right. sale. So you stand by, because I'm going to read the plot description right now according to the publisher. But you stand by, this is about a family who had an architect build them an igloo and then ask for the igloo to look like a boat. That's it, yeah. All right, here we go. Three college roommates are celebrating a 20th wedding anniversary by taking a cruise. As the shores of Bermuda come into view, tensions simmer and old jealousies flare, sending the temperature from soothing to scorching. That's just the description of the author. <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Give it up for Fred, everybody! Yeah.